First of all, we must settle on definitions when discussing this oft-misconstrued topic of what absolute certainty means. In philosophy, the kind of certainty the presuppositionalist describes as absolute certainty is defined as perfect knowledge that has total security from error, or the mental state of being without doubt. Basically, indubitability. I believe that by definition this state could only be achieved by an omniscient or all-knowing being, and that being would needs be God, and since I am not God, but rather his fallible creation, I, by definition and default, cannot be absolutely certain in my knowledge. Although while knowing him, I can have the highest assurance that what he has revealed to me in his word is true, because he is truth. But this assurance is not something I could not doubt if I was so presupposed, because it rests on my faith in God, not on my own absolute knowledge. As Christians who have seen God verify himself in our lives according to his word over and over again, we have every reason to believe his revelation to us, but it is still, ultimately, belief. I am fallible. I can know things and know them for certain, but I cannot know them absolutely for certain. For now, I'm certain that this life is not merely unfolding in my own head. I'm certain of the God I know for certain, but I am not He, so I am not absolutely for certain. I still must employ faith in my certainty, just as we all do about anything and everything. Seems to be a biblical position. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. I just think the push for absolute certainty undermines the valid point the presuppositionalists argue that we all do know certain things. For instance, I believe in absolute laws of math, physics, logic, etc., and objective morality and truth. But could I personally be wrong about them? Of course, because I am fallible. But do I believe them to be a certitude? Certainly. I think to deny them is to blow huge holes in the proverbial aircraft of one's worldview. Just because I cannot be infallible in my knowledge of them does not mean I should not believe in them because I see no good reason to doubt them, same as God. Just because I am fallible does not mean they do not hold. Reality and truth has nothing to do with how certain I am about them or how certain the other guy might be in his denial of them. They just are, and it is up to each of us to come to our conclusions about what is and what isn't. Some might say I am then proclaiming the autonomy of man. Au contraire, mon frère. I'm just stating the obvious, observable fact that we are volitional beings. Even ask the question, is there free will or freedom of choice, presupposes one can freely make a choice, which I believe is because we are created in the image and likeness of the supreme volitional being. He is sovereign and sovereignly creates volitional beings. God didn't need to violate my free will to make me what he created me to be. I proclaim the truth of Christ about which I am as certain as any man can be about anything, while still recognizing that the just shall live by faith and that without faith it is impossible to please God, and that he never gave us an option to prove him objectively and undeniably for the very reason that faith is how we receive a good report. The notion of absolute certainty tries to achieve what God never intended for us to have, namely perfect knowledge. He gave us evidence, truth, faith, and assurance in his promises by virtue of his faithfulness, and it is good enough for me. I affirm with the late Dietrich Bonhoeffer, that great man of God hanged by the Nazis for his role in a plot to overthrow Hitler, that a God who let us prove his existence would be an idol. We are saved by the grace of God through faith, not absolute certainty.